Hey everybody, it's Gigopolis here. I just want to do kind of a fun video before the Super Bowl. And, um, if you're wondering why a, uh, sports video is on a uh, channel called Geekopolis, well, it's my channel, I can do whatever the hell I want, and you can be a sports geek, so, there. Now, <clears throat> let's do a tale of the tape. <clears throat> In the white corner, <clears throat> standing at a staggering six foot four, at forty one years old, Tom Brady, a passer completer rating of sixty four percent, seventy thousand yards, five hundred and seventeen touchdowns, and one hundred and seventy one career interceptions with a Passer with a quarterback rating of 97.6, leading his team, the New England Patriots, to their ninth Super Bowl. Technically, his ninth Super Bowl. They made it there 11 times. <clears throat> Fun fact that's about 20% of the time the New England Patriots are in the Super Bowl. And moving on to the black corner. Jared Goff. He stands at also six foot four, at only twenty four years old, with a career completion percentage sixty two percent, with ninety five hundred yards thrown, sixty five touchdowns, two and twenty twenty six interceptions, with a quarterback rating of. 94.7. So Brady does take the edge in this category. This is Goff's first Super Bowl as well. Can the newcomer defeat the old veteran? Probably not. Let's get into why. Well, let's see. I think the Patriots have a better O-line, giving Brady more time to throw the ball. I think the Patriots have more consistent receivers. The <clears throat> Rams do have a better run game than the Patriots do. But the way the Patriots defense has been playing lately is giving me some concerns. So I'm going to uh, state this right off the bat. I am most certainly not a Patriots fan. I actually can't stand the Patriots. But I can appreciate the fact that they are probably going to be the next Super Bowl champions. I would be thoroughly shocked if the um, Rams can pull out the upset. I don't think they would. They, they're just... They're not as a complete team as the Patriots, I don't think. And I think the biggest factor of all is Belichick. He is a phenomenal coach, especially in the clutch. I mean, yeah, they, there's a lot of jokes because last year they lost to you on the back of quarterback, but, like, seriously... The amount of success that this man has had with, with, with Brady at, at the helm and Belichick just calling plays is, is phenomenal. And again, I really... Oh, God, it pains me because I really do not like the Patriots, but I cannot see the Rams beating them. Unless the Rams are able to establish a strong run game to start um, to start off the game and really just keep up that tempo then they're going to have a hard time dealing with the um, the gunslinging of, of, of Tom Brady. And the way that the Patriots defense has really come together in, in the playoffs and was able to pretty handily um, deal with the, uh, the Chiefs, considering how much firepower they had, I think the Rams are kind of screwed here they're, they're, they're kind of dead dead before they even get there so my prediction for the Super Bowl th this is what I, oh, I'm predicting the number is going to be it's going to be the Patriots are going to win it's going to be uh, 33 to 24 I think that's going to I think that's what it's going to be um, and if I was going to make it a little closer I would say maybe the Rams can get to 30 but I still don't think that'll be enough because I think the Patriots will at least score 30 33 but uh, that, that's that's my prediction. So anybody uh, have any other predictions or you want to make your uh, picks now? Go ahead and ready for the Super Bowl. Let's see. Uh, let's see who all 
who you guys all think is going to win because I, I really cannot see the Rams pulling this out, but let's hope. <laughs> oh, God, we're going to have to hear Brady's a goat again for another fucking year. Geekopolis out.